turns against its master. Quite happy to concede this point, but what about the Count? Have you forgotten that he gave you life and whispered the order that animates you? Look how he runs, the coward! Do you understand what he has in mind? La pauvre enfant sleeping so sweetly, she won't be dreaming for long now! Garçon! Gatanias! Don't move! The time has come to set you free, Aegis. This whore's soul has poisoned your cogs for too long. Adieu, sad puppet. No! Auntie ah! Devine, I don't want to die! Nice. The sun is rising, and you have slept for far too long. The beauty of this world longs for you, just as you long for its light. For you are like the flowers that open in the morning. I know you, mon ami. We loved each other. Vous en souviens-t-il? <laughs> you gave me your heart. So please, let me give you mine today. Vive heureuse, Atenaeus. For it is happily that I leave this world. Monsieur, we have the king. It is now up to us to wield his scepter. In this trying time, crucial decisions must be made without delay. First and foremost, we must take back Paris. And how do we do that, mon dieu? There are automats everywhere, and they are constantly regenerated by their crimes. My strategy is the only viable solution. Monsieur Laclos cannonballs filled with vitriol. And where will we find the means to carry out your plan? The city of Versailles is full of ateliers and shops. Moreover, as far as we have been able to see, the King's army has barely been deployed there. And it will not be too risky to look around. Very well. Now, regaining control of Paris depends on our combined efforts. Mais ensuite, once peace has been restored, what of the kingdom? This is indeed a crucial issue. Leaving the nation without a government would expose it to the greatest danger. Worse, it would condemn it to civil war. Eh bien quoi, monsieur? Can you not govern together? Unfortunately, the disagreements that divide our assembly run far too deep. That which we can agree is that we have been given a chance to choose the person who shall succeed the tyrant. I claim this honor. Excuse me? 
For what reason, je vous prie? Enfin, simply consider the arguments for it. Speak, Monsieur le Marquis. You have our full attention. To begin with, I rescued the Dauphin from his father's clutches and ensured the dynasty's stability. The child will reign as Henri V. We will appoint someone with great wisdom to act as regent until he comes of age. Fie. The people do not need a crowned puppet. Yes, they do. Now more than ever before. Once the assembly has adopted a constitution, the people will welcome a sovereign who will protect it. A king and a constitution. Like oil and water. Go on, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur, I rest my case. Very well. Monsieur, we must now make our decision. May each of us respect this decision and set aside our personal interests for the sake of peace and the common good. Who among you approves the appointment of the Marquis de Lafayette? The court bows before the Marquis de Lafayette, Lieutenant General du Royaume. Louis de Bourbon, former King of France, in the name of King Henri, fifth of his name, in light of the innumerable crimes of which you have been found guilty, this extraordinary royal court sentences you to the ultimate atonement. The sentence will be carried out on the hour in its great mercy, the court will now hear your last words. My loyal subjects, since you must lead a lamb to the altar, since you must offer a sacrifice to this new France that you intend to found, I will be that sacrifice. How dreadful this world is, where beauty is doomed to fade and flesh decays. I found no consolation in this world. I vainly thought I was giving our souls the gift of immortality beyond our mortal bodies. The Grim Reaper was my sworn enemy. Influenced by the most awful of men, I believed that the genius of machinery could overcome death itself. Alas, I have lost this fight, and I'm branded with a mark of murderer. Life, even more than the crown, was heavy for me to bear. I have suffered too long under the thumb of nature, which I despised. As a child, I saw my older brother die. I lost my father in the prime of his life, and then my mother, who was even younger. My beloved daughter did not live a year. As for my son, the first of my heirs, I unknowingly gave him to drink from a poisoned cup. I mourn the death of these poor souls daily. My death will not unite us of this, I am certain. For I, in my misery, have lost the support of my faith. So, executioner, lay me down on this board, Vatu. I will sleep now. Sleep at last, and not to dream. 